Yo, what is up artists and our fans? Thank you guys for tuning in and chatting with Zim. This is episode number 74. I am your host, The Real Zim Zimma. What's up guys? How's everybody doing? How's everybody's week? Um, crazy week, man. As always, you know, it's 2020, right? That's just normal nowadays. But, uh, you know, today guys, we got an awesome show. Um, our guest joins us all the way from Australia, so... Uh, definitely, definitely uh, give it up for uh, Bags for Days, uh, uh, dope graffiti artist. He will be joining us shortly. Uh, also want to say that uh, make sure that you guys go and check out my IGTV. Uh, definitely got all the shows there. Anything you missed as far as um, uh, the artist. Uh, also, Chatting with Zim on YouTube is live. So make sure you guys go and Go check, go check that out, man. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, shout out to gutter underscore baby. What's up, gutter baby? How you doing? That's part of the Mac fam. Uh, Monsters Art Clan here on Instagram. So make sure you guys go check us out. And uh, we got a website, monstersartclan.com. Definitely got to give that out. Shout out to that. So let's go. Without any further ado, let's uh, welcome Bags for Days to the show, guys. I will go ahead and pin everything up at the bottom. Also, special shout out to uh, TV Head ATX, part of the Dream Team Supreme. So, for hooking me up with some awesome merch, check out that shirt. There you go. And we Yo. got bags. What up, bags? What's popping, bro? What's happening? Not much, brother. How you been, man? How you doing? Yeah, good, man. Good. Awesome, awesome, dude. Well, thank you, man. Thanks for uh, coming on to the show, dude. Uh, so sorry. I know. I know you've been wanting to be uh, get on and maybe, you know, draw some shit live. But uh, I had my dog yeah, for like the good. past three weeks, man. So I was a I was a little bit uh, uh, taken back. You know what I mean? And uh, definitely just spend more time with her, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Always. Cool. But hey, man, shows uh, shows back on. We're ready to roll, dude. Let's get it. How's the weather there? Man, the weather is cold, brother. It's uh, it's Yeah, that's what I've been told. That's what I've been told. How about yourself uh, out there in Australia, it, man? Oh, it's just been raining like for the last two days. Oh, shit. That ain't good. Yeah, I reckon we're going to have like um, bad infestate, like full bad mosquitoes. Oh, dude. Do you guys, uh, you guys get a lot of like tsunamis and all that shit down there, man? Nah, not really. Nah. Okay. It's pretty rare for that stuff. Man, but I, I think I, the inf there'll be infestation of mosquitoes here. Oh, that sucks, dude. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who who loves mosquitoes? I don't think anybody ever said that. Nah. <laughs> so bags for days, bro. Thanks again for uh, definitely coming on, man. Uh, been promoting you uh, a little bit. If you guys haven't followed, then you guys are doing yourself a disservice. Awesome graffiti cat from Australia, and uh, man, dude, uh, you know, let, let's get it started, man. What um, what got you into graffiti, and what got you into art itself, dude? Uh, probably when I was like fifteen, I just started uh, tagging, and then. I met a uh, I met a guy named Me Mayor, and um, yeah, he he sort of like I liked all these like characters and stuff, so I just started getting into characters, and then yeah, I just started doing heaps of characters. Then got sick of that. Then we went started doing pieces with characters. Dope. Yeah. Is uh is your character work is that something you already knew how to uh how to draw prior to or is that something you kind of learned? Oh, uh, actually, you went I went to art school for a little bit. Ah, interesting. Tell us more about that, man. Yeah, I actually, I actually, uh, like could start. I I was gonna do comics and stuff. Oh shit! Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So. And then I just, I don't know, now now I'm just trying to change my style from, like, straight letter to, like, more Chicano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, I'm into, I see that. I'm, I'm, I'm into that L.A. feel now. 
Word. Yeah, and it, it definitely does. If you guys haven't seen any of his work, let me put some up so y'all could see. But definitely has that LA that LA touch there, man. I, I'm I'm digging that. Very fresh, dude. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of new st new stuff to show you as well. So what came first, man? The uh the comic book art love or the love for graffiti, bro? Uh love for graffiti. Okay. Yeah, then I just started hanging with these guys and then um we just started I started doing heaps of drains when I was younger. Yo, look at that, G. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I got it here if you just want to see it. I got it in the flesh if you just want to see it. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. And thank you, everybody else, yeah. for uh, who's tuning in. Thank you guys very much. Uh, definitely appreciate the, the support here. Today. Yeah, I've got, I've got a new one I want to show you as well. I'm starting. Oh, man, well, uh, let's kick it off, man. Like, let's start You want to see it? Okay. Hell okay. yeah, let's, let's do it. this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thundercats. He-Man. Yeah. And side by and side. Do you, see I the, like that. do you see the lettering? I see that. So it's Thundercats and then He-Man. Nice. That style, dude. I like Mama. Mama's good, eh? Man, that's dope, it's... dude. Now what? Now tell us what what type of uh, what type of piece is that? Where what where are you working on? What type of paper? Is that like Bristol board or something? Or uh, yeah, it's fine. Shout out to Bruce, Fat Cap'n, Cesar. Thank you for coming on. Roofless. I, hopefully I said it right. Joke DT, rocking them joke pins yeah, it's right just water. here. It's just, uh, it's just water. Um, it's the proper water paper. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's just the proper one for the water markers. Alcohol, water. So take us back to let's get back to the graffiti days, man. When you first started, what uh, what what actually uh, influenced you the hardest, or what attracted you to that to that art form, man? What attracted me to it uh, was so, yeah. just the just the uh, I don't know the the style and stuff that everyone has. Were you, uh, were you influenced by anybody back in the day, man? Yeah, his name's Mayor. Anybody else besides him? Um, yeah, Jedi. Mm. He's one of the guys I, I hang heaps with, I always peace with. Yeah, I mean, cool. like, just his, his style is so, like, cool. Especially oh, when he does a free when he does a freestyle one, like he just goes up to the wall and paints it. That's even better. I tell him that he always does the best piece when he does it like that. The freestyling? Yeah, yeah. Just like not taking his you know, work with him to the wall. No word. How do you feel with freestyling? Is that something you do a lot yourself? I always or? free I always I don't take anything with me. I'm always freestyling. I never, That's dope. never. That's dope, dude. Yeah, I never take anything with me, really. That's fire. That last one I did, freestyle. Just, yeah, just off my head. Cool. How's your, uh, how's your art life like, man? Uh, it's, it's, this is, this is my life now, man. I, I used to be a construction worker for maybe over 10 years. Then I got my hands crushed. Oh shit, dude! I can't, I can't, I can't move these fingers. Okay. And I can't, and I can't fully function this finger. 
Now, how has that impacted your work, dude? Uh, that, well, it does, but like that's what's helping me through like a lot of the pain. Mm. Like, I get heaps of pain, man, from this shit. Oh man, dude, I'm bad, dude. I've had operations. I have uh, uh, nerve blocks every month. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've uh, stopped the nerve blocks because this eye is starting to twitch. Mm -hmm. But everything's good, but everything's good about it. Oh, cool, man. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do art and that's it. No, that, that's that's pretty dope, man. And that's uh, very ballsy. You know what I mean? Uh, that's something that uh, a lot of art, well, just people in general, you know, they got to, I think, take that leap, you know? It's that leap of faith, but if you don't take it, you, you'll never know. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I stuffed I stuffed up when I was 15, you know? Like, I could have done some drawings for Walt Disney and stuff like that. I could have done, Word. like, illustrations and stuff for him. But I had a kid, man. I had a kid when I was, like, 16. Just oh. turned 16. My son just turned 21. I'm a grandfather now. Oh, man. <laughs> Congrats, dude. That's crazy. That's badass. Yeah, though. yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, so good, uh, yeah, man. You, you, you started life early, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, tell us more about your, uh, I mean, you, you, your graffiti and, uh, you know, your inspirations. And then you mentioned that, you know, you, you wanted to be a, a comic book artist. You know, how, how how did that come about? Tell us more about that, man. Oh, just, just because I started doing a lot of, like, characters when I was younger. I did heaps of characters. Like, I could show you heaps of stuff I used to do when I was younger. I got a book here. I got stuff from when I was 15. Oh, nice. Nice. Now is uh you also mentioned that you uh that a you bit, took... these are a bit of characters I've done before. You've probably never seen them. There you go, look at that. But yeah, they're just ones I just you know just mucking around drawing. Here's a couple more. Here's another one. It's a bit shiny. And then you said you you took uh, you took art right as well. Uh, that that was what like college or was that somewhere in, during high school? Oh yeah, during during high school, yeah. Sweet. So it's probably uh, exactly like fifteen, sixteen. Oh word. Yeah, that's where like I got into all the um, like started to do comics and stuff. And what and uh, back to back to your graffiti, man. When exactly did you get into, or why did you get into the? Uh, no, not why. How did you get into the uh, the whole Chicano style, man? Well, how did I get into it? Yeah, uh, yeah. When it, I just when wanted it? to change my whole style. But what's the basis for you landing in? You know that that whole. Hardcore West Coast graffiti style, man. See, this is like some of my old stuff I used to write. Dope. Digging that character. Damn, the colors on that are dope. Yeah, I, 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 I uh, got a lot of color work in this book, actually. You know, we got uh, James uh, Aziz or Aziz, uh, one with six. He's asking, uh, when did you smash your first panel and who was it with? Um, that was with uh, Jedi and it was probably when I was, yeah, about 15. Yeah, it... it... It was a lot easier back here in the days to do trains, to paint trains. Word. Yeah, and like now, now it's um, you know, it's a lot harder. They got cameras now on the sides of the carriages. Yeah. And that, and inside the yards, they put they put sensors. So as soon as you walk in, it goes uh, off. 
Fuck. Alert the security. Dude. What's uh what's one of the craziest grass stories you got, man? The most okay, craziest so insane. We're in a we're in a yard. The sec- the security guard was asleep and we painted a whole train, bro, top to bottom. Huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. Yeah, and, and and we walked out and he was still asleep. Oh shit. He's working hard, dude. I don't know. I, I do not know how he didn't smell the aeros- like the paint. Man, dude must have been a heavy sleeper, dude. Either that or y'all move like ninjas, one or the other. Maybe he had a big shift. I don't know. Yeah, man. I'll That's tell cool. you another one. I did a train. There was no ladders, nothing. And I did a top to bottom with three milk crates. Oh, Do you know nice. the size of a milk crate? Yeah. Yeah, I stacked them on top of each other to touch the top. Nice. Oh, that's off the ground. No, oh, that's dope, dude. What about one of your, uh, your, 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 one of the worst stories or one of the worst things that ever happened to you while you're out there bombing, man? Worst stories? Um, getting chased by a dog in the oh, yard. Yeah. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, yeah. It nearly, it nearly got one of my friends. Eh. Man, that's crazy. Well, y'all survived. Or I hope he survived. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, man, that's fucking wicked, dude. Now, also, I've noticed that there's... um, You also post bikes. You know, bicycles and stuff. Uh, by any chance, are you like a collector? You BMX a bit? Yeah, or? yeah. i got massive collection of bikes. Dope. And what got you into that, man? That's interesting. Um, we got a like a ride. Uh, we got a uh, BMX crew that we call the Riders Bench. Mm. And um, yeah, we just started riding BMXs, and that's it. That's how like that happened. Oh, that's badass. Actually, I I, I bought a good bike, and then one of my mates was, oh, I'll go, I'm gonna go buy a bike. So he went and bought a bike, and then his mate went and bought a bike. Damn, and then before you know it, y'all, y'all little crew out there. Yeah, we used to go around tagging first, like tagging, stickers. And yeah, nice. now we just go riding around, you know, just the city and stuff. Word. Now, now being in the, man, being in the graffiti, the graffiti scene, dude, is there any, um, Is there anything that you dislike about how it's evolving throughout, you know, the past yeah, 15, 20 I, I, years? Yeah, I just really, I really hate how people cross people out and all that. Like, um, you know, like it's my crew, your crew. Like everyone should show love, you know. Word. That's what oh. I think about, like. No, that's what's up. I mean, I uh, I used to dabble in it when I was in uh, high school, um, you know. So uh, I think I did it between uh, years 2000 to about 2004, 2005. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm over here in Chicago, bro. So we were notorious. We had all these graffiti wars. And that that comes with the territory, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, my my crew over in um, LA, I'm in CMA crew. Have you heard of them? Uh, the no. creative cre- creative mind uh, artist. Oh, okay, I'll check them out. They're here on Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got an Instagram. Yeah, CMA CMA page. Yeah. All right, word. I'll definitely check that out. Shout out to CMA. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, they they uh, just did a mad mural. And some uh, one crossed out all the black people. Oh, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, man. I was on. I was on Instagram everywhere. Like they just crossed them out, bro. It's like this. This guy's a mad artist too. And like, man, he spent a couple kicked. hours on it, and someone just came and just put cross the street. Like, man, fuck. Wow. 
Well, man, if any of y'all ever know who the hell that was, make sure y'all. Yeah, they're gonna get. Right they'll there. probably get shot. Hell yeah, they're gonna get shot. <laughs> That's just facts, man. You know what I mean? Dope, man. So besides, uh, besides your current project that you're working on, man, what else is in the works, dude? What, what's, uh, what's up with bags? What what future. else we doing? Yeah, man. What else you got planned for the future, man? Uh, I I, I am actually doing eggshell stickers. I'm making. I'm getting a machine, a printer. Oh shit! And I'm going to start making my own eggshells. Dope. Yeah, I got a I got a whole bunch of stuff. I I've got planned suit like coming through. Stuff is coming through. I got more pins coming. I got an actual. I don't know if you know Iki. Iki, uh, spell it. Iki, I'll show you. I'll show you who it is. Puppet master. Word. His name is the okay, puppet master. You don't know Iki? Yeah. No, I don't know him, man. I would. Oh, you nice better go give. Word. You better go and give him a follow. Definitely will do. EOC. That's another crew I'm in. Word. And uh, and talking about crews, man. Shout out to uh, shout out some of your crews here, man. Besides uh, ELC, man. Yeah. Uh. OFA, CMA. ELC. JG. Oh, shout out. I'm in BEL. And uh, if he's uh, wanting, these are my new pins if someone ever wants pins. I got pins. For sure. And talking about pins and merchandise, make sure you guys go to yobags.bigcartel.com. Definitely hit that up. It's in his bio. So definitely go check out the merch. Buy some merch. Buy some artwork. Support the artist, y'all. Yeah, look at these shoes. It's glowing. it's glowing. All right, that's that's fucking badass. Yeah, all the crews. I'm a pin. Yes. Sick. I like that. Yeah. So tell us about uh, Bags, man. Tell us about the origin of uh, Bags for Life. Let, let us know about that name, dude. How'd that come about? Uh, bags for Days? Yeah. Oh, how I got it? How I got the name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're actually on a BMX ride. And the boys go to me, oh, look, let's get some bags. Mm. And that's how I got it. They started calling me Bagman. Hey, hey, it it sticks, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, over here in Chicago, let us get a bag. We're talking about, uh, you know, a bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. You partake, man. What's that? You partake in the cannabis? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Sativa I got stuff from indica. America. This Ooh. is from America. There you go. And Sativa I got more stuff somewhere. Huh? Sativa or indica? It's, uh, uh yeah, Sativa, I think. I'm I'm asking like you. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to be you know get that? Damn, there it is. Watch out now. In the all day. Look at that. I'm more of a sativa person myself, man. Oh, uh, any anything like. Anything uh, like that right now, like I used to not be because mm -hmm. of work. 
or it used to not be because they do a lot of drug testing. Not work. That's why that's why a lot of people do bags. Because it goes through your system so quick, you know, so that's why they do it. Yeah. How do you, uh, now as an artist, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of us go through this, but, you know, sometimes you get like those, uh, those art blocks. Um, you, you ever get that, man? What's that? Like an art artist blocks. block. Yeah, like an artist block where it's like, I don't know what to draw right now, you know? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I, I sort of sometimes get it. It's like, so, uh, so how do you overcome that, man? Overcome the block? The block, yep. Um, usually go eat. Ah, <laughs> it's that simple. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, just go and in, come back. Nice. Wish, I wish it was that simple for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'll never have enough. Nah, I'm always, like I'm always thinking about the next thing. I'm always thinking about the next thing. All right, word, man. What about how do you, uh, how do you recharge them creative batteries, bro? At a, oh, uh, just to have a V. Mm. You don't have them, eh? Have a V or... A word. Energy drink. Man, I can't drink those, dude. Gives me a lot of gas, G. Oh, uh, yeah. The only time I drink them is with liquor. <laughs> I I could tell you something else can recharge your batteries, but it's not it's not good. Oh shit! <laughs> well, do, do tell, I guess if you want, man. Now, as uh, you do commissions and well as well, you take on commissions. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got a couple of projects actually on the way. I just got um. Uh, um, he does. He, he has a dispensary in America, and he's asking me to do all these la labels for his bags. Oh, that's dope, dude. Yeah, because I do a lot of digital too. I'm trying to do a bit of a mix, like half digital, half paper. But the digital is getting a little easy for me, you know. Yeah. Oh, dude, and that's pretty cool. So man. I'm actually learning more new stuff, like. Yeah, just heaps more stuff on there on on the digital side. Bags does. Yeah, I did. I did his logo. Yeah, I did heaps of people's logos in the in the Wii community. I've done heaps. Word. There's actually a. Um, you ever heard of RTA? Respect the artists. They're uh, they're another type of. Uh, um, a source that does like this where they interview artists they're actually having a logo contest redesign uh, you can win a hundred bucks of uh, some art supplies if you win so man dude if you're if you're into that stuff check that out respect the artist RTA right here on Instagram you know it ends yeah. on uh, it ends on Tuesday so in the, you hey, got, got a couple of days yeah that's dope and Man, digital, dude. That, that's that's pretty big, man. That's something that we, uh, uh, yeah, well, I as an artist, that. you know, we recommend. Recommend to go one. ahead and try. Some old stuff. I can show you some more. How long you been doing uh, digital work, bro? What's that? How long I've been doing it? Yeah. Um, digital work. I've done a, a bit. Been uh, now, now, nearly two years. I've been doing now digital work. All right, yeah, this is the Halloween piece I did. There it is. That's the Halloween piece I did. I've done. Um, 
and a heap. This is a new pin I was designed. That's Dope. a new pin I designed. Um, I done that. I've uh, just started to do like moving stuff now. Oh, okay. Like some uh, animation and stuff like that, dude. That's yeah, yeah. I've thing. got another one uh, uh, done over here. Done another one that's over here. Now, what's uh, what's something? Uh, what's a tip that you guys uh, that you could give to all these artists who wanna get started on doing their digital work, dude? What's something that you learned from uh, traditional to digital? I'll show you my first ever drawing. <laughs> These are my first ever drawings on digital. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. And I did not know about like layers and everything. That was just one piece of paper. Oh, shit. I didn't well, know you could build layers and change this, do that. Like I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, well, that, definitely a big difference, man. Yeah, it is. For sure. That's uh, good always uh, keep your old artwork and uh, definitely, uh, you know, pull it back out once in a while every every so often years just to see you. This one moves. Guys. <laughs> Pass me the bag. <laughs> Yes, there it is. <laughs> I like that shit. That's bad. Anything else you learned from going di uh, uh, traditional to digital? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a total different. It's a total different thing. It's totally different. Like, digital is, to me, is cheating. Uh, how so? Well... Man, you can just put the pen, do a circle, and it goes fucking perfect. You can't do a perfect <laughs> circle with a piece of paper. Oh, I, I, I was trying to do it yesterday. I, I, was, I was drawing with a pencil. I did a circle, and I, went, I, I, was, I was holding it there. I was like, fuck. It doesn't do circle, like fully circle. I was like, fuck it, hell. Don't you? Like, I, from, coming from the digital to the pencil would fuck me up, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah, fine. that's one thing. I, I, no, it's not cheating. And then you can just get all the colors and put them everywhere, you know. Like, I can do a logo in, a, a basic one in about 15 or 20 minutes. Nice. It's pretty dope, man. That's why I'm trying to do a bit of both because I'm, you know, trying to go both ways. So just keep me on that path. Word. Yeah, another. Reach... This is another. This is another one I done. It, it moves. And what? Uh, what? What? What sparked that interest in uh, in animation and stuff, man? What um sparked? Uh, I'm not too sure. Like, just yeah, it's. I don't know, fun to draw, like, everything. I like to do a whole scene. Mm. Like, just go full on, you know? Like, just do everything. That's why I, I do all them, like, draw them papers. I just did this competition they had. It was called Get Up Competition it's for Boy. Get Up. And um, that's why I did that Get Up one. I don't know if you've seen it. It's the Transformer. All right, there it is. Yeah, I was yeah, definitely showing the, that earlier. That's the that's the get up one. That looks dope, dude. Yeah. It has that little coronavirus back there, little COVID. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's. That's it. Dope, dope.
And uh, we're definitely at about our halfway point. You know, usually around this time, I, uh, I start a little segment called Josh's Tools. Uh, we pretty much talk yep. about all the tools that some of the tools that you use, man. Um, I know you, you just busted out that digital pad. So uh, let's get started there. What ki- what type of pad are you using? What type of app are you creating on? Oh, uh, yeah. I just use an iPad Pro and it's um, 11, 11 point something. I'm not sure exactly. 11 point. I think it's, I'm not sure what the size. I think it's 11 point something. All right. And um, yeah, just, just pit. Just the the pen it comes or it doesn't come with it, but you'd think it would. Yeah, the Mac pencil and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. They 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 uh set you back another two hundred bucks straight away. Oh, Bang! Sh- I spent three grand on that on on that iPad. On it's the, the setup, it's all the, right. Yeah, it's five hundred and sixty-five or whatever it is, the gig one. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Man, what about uh? Got a lot of room. Hell yeah, that's a lot of room. Half a terabyte, man. Just about. Um, what about what? What are you creating? What are you using to uh to draw on when you're on the iPad? What app? Uh, Procreate. Okay. Yeah. You know, if I, if any of you guys have been following uh, me when I talk to all these artists that go digital, Procreate is definitely one of my top answers, or the top answer, really. You know, I messed with it a, a, a while back as well, so it's a pretty good application. <coughs> go sponsor us, <laughs> sponsor me, Procreate. Yeah, definitely. I just gotta get that in there. Definitely sponsor us. For real. What about uh, what about for your uh, traditional work? What what are we uh, what are we working with? Uh, you showed us the notepad earlier. Uh, what type of uh, markers or markers? Uh, I I use I use touch. The touch markers. Word. Yeah, I use touch and I use um, it's a, it's a, actually a, a bit of a mixture. I use Posca, mm. and I use Star Files. The Star Files, I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're all right. No, I haven't. And it, what is that supposed to be like? The uh, like an alcohol marker, or is that? Yeah, the alcohol. Okay. Yeah, alcohol markers. Yeah. Yeah, then I, I use a bit of a mixture. I use uh, all my pieces. I use Poscas as well. Okay, word. And I've done like, I've done some full, some full color. I don't know if you guys have seen my color eggshells that I've done. But I've done really small eggshells. Here's one. Dope. Here they are. There's a series of them. And these are the, this is it here. And these were done with Posca. These are all stickers. Those are dope. Yeah, that's another uh, another one of my famous uh, like favorite famous um, characters is um, Bode, Von Bode. Word, word. What about for your uh, your graffiti? What type of uh, cans you use for that, man? Um, it's a bit of a mixture again. I, I usually use uh, Iron Lac. You know, Iron Lac? Yeah. Anything Anything you won't use? As far as spray um, paint? Nah, I'll use nah. it all. <laughs> Word. 
Good answer. Great answer. Hey, it's all on. Hey, hey, it all comes out the same sort of way. No word. No, I. Uh, that's I, why. That's why. Like, if you if you're doing something, just yeah, just buy any paint. Really, like they all do the same sort of thing. Is some of them have different pressures, but that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, I I definitely agree. You know, a little learning curve to everything, but you know, I always say that you know the artist makes the tools, not the other way around. You know what I mean? That's right. You yeah. Could, you take a highly talented artist, give him crayons, and he'll come out with masterpieces. He gives a newbie some some Copics and Prismas or whatever, and it's not. Yeah, like I'm them. using these cheap markers. Even these cheap markers now, I'm using these cheap markers because uh, I'm sick of wasting my money on expensive ones. Yeah, and man, they just do the same thing. Like there's. And like that only cost thirty dollars. I could just chuck it in the bin. They cost me like three hundred and something dollars. Mm. So like just yeah, just go cheap if you have to. Especially I not not only that I just more more points to that you know go cheap especially if you if it's something you're first trying out you know like a medium yeah. like let's say let's say you want some watercolors you know don't go spend your you know your money on some good brand ones, you know, start out with something you could buy at like the grocery store or something, you know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. What about a mechanical or wooden pencil, bro? Uh, just a wooden HB pencil. There you go. Yeah, HB. That's it. That's it, guys. And that's it. That was the uh, the artist the artist tool bag right there and stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's what Bass for days uses, man. Yeah, just a normal pencil, a normal rubber, nothing fancy. Now you also, uh, you know, I said it earlier today. You know, uh, you also have uh, elbags.bigcartel.com. Uh, definitely get all your merch there. Bill um, bags, yeah. Or or just DM me. Just DM me. If you want a set of pins or something. I've got already some there in America. Word. So if you ever want any, I can sit, sit, like, like send you to who's got them there. Oh, nice. So word out. Yeah, that will sort of uh, help, you know, with shipping costs and stuff. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you want to have a quick look at my room? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's take a look at it. Let's uh let's see that uh the man cave here. This is my uh room, all right? Yeah, this Jedi. He did the bags one for me. Dope. And then I've just got another one done by another two other guys who are in my crew. And um they just did me this. So yeah, that's that's uh, London. I got Rome. I got this. I got like a whole bunch more coming. Oh, that's badass! And, my room. and I'm I'm digging those little uh, the little cars too. They're all tagged up. Badass. Oh yeah, I got heap. I collect oh, hot wheels. That. Yeah, collect hot wheels. That's pretty dope, dude. How how do you get into that, man? This is my train I made. Dope. How do I get into it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hot Wheels, man. Pretty cool. My uh, brother-in-law said to me, he goes, oh, look, look at this car. I found it on eBay. And I said, oh, yeah. He said, it's a <laughs> uh, hundred bucks. I was like, a hundred bucks yeah. for a fucking two dollar car. Yeah. And then um, I found out they're like super ones, like they're harder ones to get. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I just I started hunting for them, and that's it. I just got a full thing of it. But I've always, back when I was younger, I was into cars. Okay. My, uh, my, my, my son's dog's name's Turb, but my son's in the cars. 
Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, his dog's name's Turbo, you know, and he called his son Cruz. <laughs> Dope. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fully into cars. He's in the bikes as well. Oh, that's sick. I got a couple of bikes myself as well, but I can't r really ride them. They're really hard for me to ride. Is your uh, is your son uh, by any chance uh, into the the art world as well, man? Oh, he was, and now uh, no, nah, not really. He's in the cars okay. now. Okay. Yeah, he's in the cars. He's he's always doing something. Can't can't blame him, dude. I uh, that's that's pretty much why I got out of graffiti. I uh, I got into cars, you know. Started fixing them, tuning them, racing. Yeah, he's them. got a Subaru. He's got oh, a Subaru. Shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Dude. Dope. When 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 I was his age, I didn't have a Subaru. Shit, man. When I was his age, I, I had. Oh a no! Idea. Yeah, actually, actually, when I was his age, I had a Subaru. I did have a Subaru. Oh shit. Yeah, Subarus are yeah, dope. Yeah, when I was about twenty-one. Yeah, they're dope, dude. Any, uh, what's the most important, um, say the most important tip somebody ever gave you, bro? The most important tip is enjoy life to the fullest. And can, can we hear, can you shout it out for the people in the back? You know what I mean? Enjoy life to, to the, the fullest. fullest. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. And that that's true, guys. Uh, make sure you guys are enjoying everything, man. Every second is precious, man. Yeah, man. You, did, you don't know when someone's gone, so enjoy time with people as well. Oh, for sure. Because they'll be gone like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my grandma is 93 years old. And, like, I, she she's, like, an hour away from me, and I don't see her as much. I should see her more. But yeah, she's ninety three, so Lord. All right, guys, and you know, at this point there's about I'd say about thirteen minutes left of the show. Uh if you guys have any questions for our guests, bags for days, definitely uh make sure you either use a little question mark down below or just ask it. But while we get uh while we get some questions in, brother, how about uh how about we hold a little giveaway that I was doing? That I'm hosting, you know, every episode we we give away a little something back for the viewers, something they could win. Got that Jack Skellington. It's a nice, a nice Halloween piece you done there. Thank you, sir. Nice Halloween theme right here. Definitely. Uh, this is actually the uh, pre-Halloween show. Next time, next week, I do my show. It's, it's gonna be in the past, man. So, you know, want to keep it theme. And what should we ask, man? How how should these people uh, go ahead and uh, win this fun little giveaway here? Mm. How about we ask a question? Let's ask a question and let's... Uh... Yeah. Word. I got it. How old was bags for days when he had his kid. Now that's a question. Let's see, that's easy to Let's see who was paying attention. First person to answer wins the prize. It's that simple. There it is, guys. Cool. Now let's get back <laughs> to the show, man. Let's see. Uh, we got Ruthless asking him, uh, what's the most you yeah. spent buying art? What's the most? Yes, sir. Like in what? Paint? That's exactly what I was going to ask. Um, are we talking about paint or are we talking about art from other artists? Uh, let's go with paint, you know? I think that's what he meant. But... Oh, most in said... paint. Yeah, he says buying actually, someone. yeah, buying someone else's art. Oh, 
at 500. Oh, shit. That's dope. About five, 500. I, uh, yeah, I, I've bought a few pieces off Keva. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he does uh, some yeah. good work. The, the, this one here, this is a good little piece. So if, that would have took him like a few hours at least. And it looks like stickermonster.co.uk. You definitely won the Jack Skellington. Please DM me your address and I will ship this ASAP. More than likely tomorrow. Do you work more Olympics or more? Yeah, I use I use Copex too. I've got a bit of them too, but nah, not as much as the one the 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 touch. The touch has got a brush. It's got a brush tip and a tip, so you could do the finest detail work ever. See, you got your marker, then you got your brush. There you go. You you want to get all the details as much as you can. That's why I bought the Posca ones. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Somewhere in here. And why you here? Okay. Are brushes. Dope. Yeah, and you pump it, and the ink, the the paint comes out. You ever hear uh, hear about the Ohuhu alcohol markers? Which the ones? Ohuhu brand, O H U H. Oh yeah, yeah, they 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 they're all right. Yeah, they really, yeah. I yeah, recommend yeah. them. I recommend. Them. I do too. Yeah, I've heard of them. Definitely give Copics a run for their money, man. You know, as yeah, far yeah, as that's, quality uh, ones. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Any, uh, any tips, bro, that you could share with uh, with people wanting to get into graffiti, man? Anything for the youngsters? Yeah, I've told them a few of them before. You need a ruler, a pencil, and a rubber. <laughs> Then you just start doing, I told him, two lines. Mm. Start doing straight letter. Straight letter is the easy one for you to start with. Start doing at the basics. Last yeah. I was doing it last night. I was trying to show a friend of mine, Jake. And I was just showing him. You just do two, two lines and then like that. You just want to learn letters. So I just said two lines, a ruler, and start doing it. Just start. I told him, he goes, oh, how do you do a B? I said, you do it with two titties. Just <laughs> two, two titties. So sideway tits. Yeah, nice. just two tits. That's it. And then you do a straight line. Oh, yeah, nice. Got to like that. You got to turn that into a video. How to do a letter B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it on, 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 on like YouTube, eh? How do you right. do your letter B? It's like, hey, man, this guy's drawing some titties, you know? <laughs> it's funny. But I forgot the nipples. Oh, shit. That's cool. Favorite style of art? Graffiti style or just art in general? Um, yeah, just all art. I'm into all art. Cool. Anything else that uh, that you're into, bro, that, that maybe we didn't get? I mean, uh, digital artists, graffiti artists, you know, Hot Wheel Collector, that's dope. I'm, I dig that. I got a shit ton of action figures all around my room. So Yeah, I got a few action figures. Let me, let me ask you this. What's the most expensive Hot Wheel you got, bro? Uh, yeah, it's probably like six hundred. 
Oh shit. Man. This whole war here, this whole war here, I've even got this little diorama I made. This little town we made. That's sick. That. Very sick. Good work. But man. yeah, this whole this whole war, like, is hundred dollar cars. Oh, like man. these, two sixty, two hundred. Like they're all, yeah, big, pretty big money. And these are custom. I made these. I made these myself. What? Yeah, this is made. Wow. Okay, now that's dope. That's badass. Yeah. So this is a mystery. Oh, no, that's a five-pack car. That comes in a five-pack. And then the card is uh, just made with a sticker, and then I made it, like, exactly like the card. Oh, that's sick that I wouldn't yeah. even I couldn't even tell honestly yeah they're custom ah oh, that's that, that's badass there's a custom work as well man yeah all custom shit any anything else man you play any instruments uh any other talents or or hidden nah, stuff nah, that we don't know about I don't do anything like that. I'm just um getting into art more man like I've, I've got these cans are done Those are, that one's dope. That Star Wars one. Are you ready for it, Buck? Oh, damn. There it is, dude. Boom. Oh, shit. Man. Dude, you just turned this level up all the way to 9,000, man. Shit. Man, that's sick. And like that. they come with a remote. Boom. Oh, Here's my other man. one. For for all my uh, for all my Mac fans, Chachi who? Chachi, what? I like that. Damn, that's some awesome work, bro. Definitely, definitely put that little cherry on top right there, and the color changing can't get better than that. <laughs> Dude, that, that was so and good. the remote and the remote, man. Well, wait, there's more. If you call now in the next 15 minutes, we'll get you a free remote, you know? That's awesome, bro. Yeah, they're just a little thing I'm working on. Sweet. And I have a massive can I have a massive can collection, like massive. Oh, shit. Like this is just a little bit of my can collection. This is a little bit. I actually have a good story if you want to hear it. Man, can I'll you do it? In a, it pretty... Yeah, in about a minute. You got a minute, man. Yeah, I can tell you pretty quick. All right. So, Vaughn Bode, like Bode. Yeah. I met him in oh, person. Shit. Dope. Uh, he tattooed at my friend's shop, mm. and um, I got these cans. I said, all I want you to do is sign them. He goes, nah, I'm not signing them. I said, why not? He said, nah, I can't do it. He goes, I can tell you a story first. I said, okay, tell me a story. He goes, see, when I... Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, that, that's his dad's one. Okay. Anyway, when he said to me he did it, he goes, all right, I'll tell you a story. He goes, I have to do something because this is my dad's. So he goes, I have to do a personal piece on there. Mm. So he did, he did that for me and he just said to me that um, he won't sign it. He'll just do that hey even better man and i've got his one too he said to me um yeah so that was his that was his dad's character that he said that he did and he did his character on his one cool hey bags well we got about 10 seconds thanks again for joining us everybody make sure you come back in half hour for a joke make sure you guys hit up 
EL Bags for BigCartel.com. Follow Bags for Days, guys.